Hey there guys, today I'm going to show you how to cut a model into multiple parts and add connectors in Bamboo Studio. This is actually a lot easier than what a lot of people think it is, so just please bear with me and I'm going to show you how to do this in Bamboo Studio. So step number one, get into Bamboo Studio. Step number two, get your file in there, get it completely ready. For this case, we're going to use a little minion character. So then step number three, all we have to do here is click and highlight on our model. And then we have to go up here to the menu of tabs where it says cut. There's a little cut icon. There's two blocks with a little cut mark. Click on that. And this is where things are going to get a little fancy. So if you mess something up, remember the back button is over here in the left hand corner. Don't, it's going to happen. Just trust me. So as we can see here, the model is already being cut. So it's kind of depicted where it thought maybe it would cut initially. But if you want to edit it, all you have to do is click on these axes and you can move where you want the cut, right? So as I can see here, the cut is actually on the dude's arm, so I don't want that. So what I would do is figure out which line of access I have to click to move it up. I think it's this yellow one. The colors will differentiate sometimes, so click and hold that, and yes, see that's how I can bring this up and figure out where I want the cut. So then, and again, you can click on all the different axes here, and all you have to do is like say if you wanted to like move the angle of the cut like this, you can change all of this stuff, guys. Like say if you didn't want it in his mouth, you could change it like that. And then what we want to do here is we want to click on add connectors. Say, say if you want, because chances are you want to add connectors to the print, right? Because when you take it apart, you obviously want to be able to add it back together with some like connectors. We can choose whatever type of connector you want. Plug, dowel, snap, prism, shape, all kinds of stuff. So what I tend to do, and it's going to depend on your individual print, I'm going to keep it at the prism style and I'm going to go with um, uh, a square. I, a square because I feel like that's the best as far as like it not twisting and stuff. It's gonna be totally up to you. And then click where you want it to lo be located. And again, I'm gonna click here. I can drop and drag and click it. I can increase the size. Obviously, the bigger it is, the stronger it's gonna be, right? You'd like to think. And then I'm gonna put this directly in the center. Again, I can change it to a hexagon. That's actually probably even stronger. Thought I think about it, there's six sides there, right? And then once you have the size down and the depth, you can change the depth. Um, you can change all of this stuff. That's probably thick enough, honestly. Once you have this figured out, then click on uh, confirm connectors here at the bottom. And then it is all finished. It's essentially all finished. It put it back together in your model, the, the multiple pieces, it's back together. And then you're just gonna have to trust it. So click on perform cut and then it performed it. So there it is guys. That's how you, that's how you cut a model into multiple pieces in Bamboo Studio. What you can then do, say if it's like too big, because a lot of times people are doing like huge pieces and that's the reason why you're cutting it, is because you can put it on multiple plates. So you can just add a new plate and then you can drag and drop the pieces there and then you can slice it and then you're off to printing. And if I move the viewer down here, you can see that's right where it's gonna lock together and this is the perfect answer to adding or to cutting your model into multiple pieces. Hit me up in the comments if you have any more questions. I am a normal dude and do reply. Please consider subscribing. I am a 3D print enthusiast. All right, guys, see you in the next one.